what is going on my lovely cancers and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right my love so let's see what is going on with you guys all right this is going to be for all cancer placements keep in mind guys that these readings are timeless all right so whenever you find it is when it's meant for you all right so again it could be your energy that i'm picking up or the energy around you and just a disclaimer guys that i will never ever ever contact you for a reading all right if someone does it is a scammer pretending to be me so please be careful my loves and do not get got all right so we have the queen of wands coming out guys there could be a significant fire sign that's in your life all right leo aries sagittarius or this just could be something that you have a lot of passion for nine of wands there's someone here that they're really trying to stand their ground with something as best that they can all right queen of pentacles that could be taurus virgo capricorn energy let's see what's going on here seven of wands you guys are like standing your ground when it comes to a certain decision okay because you want to be in something that you feel good and passionate about just in general um, you want to be stable and, you know, solid. And it's like you're standing your ground against something that's bullshit. Like, I feel like there's someone that you're refusing to go towards or something that you're refusing to do. Maybe this is just you really cutting something or someone out. You guys are standing your ground when it comes to staying away from something because you you're just more solid without it all right you know that you can trust yourself and rely on yourself without this thing all right you kind of have the energy of you know that tyler perry, uh, perry energy of i can do bad all by myself We have the temperance card reversed your spirit just was not in alignment with something anymore okay you just knew that you were better without something two of swords reverse king of pentacles five of wands there's something that makes you feel very good and stable but there's like controversy around it Okay, I think that there's something that wants to come back in while you're already focused on a new chapter. Okay, and you're just being cold towards it because you want to build in a way that you know is more stable. All right, you're changing your life drastically and you're changing it in a way where like you're taking the path of least resistance, but the path of least resistance is again the one that causes that drastic change. Like you're just you're done with something. All right. You, you were just depleted by something and you know that it's a struggle. You know that it's a fight. You're not interested in all that. So we have the nine of swords, the ten of cups reversed. Okay, something had put you through like a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. You weren't happy. Okay, you pulled yourself out. I feel like for a lot of you, you're the ones that are not communicating with someone. Or, you know, uh, with a certain energy, like you're no longer partaking, all right? Because you were losing yourself in this, all right? This isn't who you truly were. Someone could have found out something about you, and I'm saying this because the Knight of Cups is reversed, okay? Where this is something that helps you hone into you, but like maybe they see it as fucked up. It could be simply that you're just not fucking with them. All right, someone can see it as messed up that you're you're focused on you and and not on anything else. Okay. But I see very good karma coming in where you guys really take off in a very solid direction. Um one that you feel like you're on top of the world. That's why you have to cut something out. That's why you have to let it go. You still have something on your mind heavily and how it just didn't resonate with your spirit anymore. But again, you're moving to calmer waters here.
And again, guys, there's something that happens very quickly. There's something you take off with. And it's like, yo, I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I don't want to cry. I just want to be happy. All right? There's something that you're just not going to give it your energy anymore. You're not going to let it stress you anymore. Knight of Swords reversed. Something that you got yourself out of, it was just too reckless. Like, you were just so ready for a new chapter. You were so ready for you to emotionally be in a better place. Okay? Um, there is someone or something that may attempt to come back into your life, but you just, you're, you're not about it. Okay. And again, guys, there could be something that whether in the near future or just in the future in general, someone finds out about you where they realize that you're on a path that's better for you. Okay. So it's like something's being cut out. They're, they're seeing that something's not going to work with you or you're seeing something that's, you know, not going to work with them. All right. So let's see. Let's get a new deck here. Five, five, five is on the clock as I'm recording this, guys. So I really feel like you guys are on the other end of some sort of struggle, some sort of problem. I feel like you're getting to the point where you can breathe if you are not already feeling like you can breathe. Okay? You guys are ready for something new, for something exciting here. Okay? That's why you're walking away. You were no longer balanced. You guys did everything that you could for a situation, but like all your efforts were to no avail. Now with the Hierophant, for some of you, this could have been a marriage or this could have been, um, you know, the Hierophant is saying that this is something that because you experienced, because you went through it, it, it helped you in some way to be more in alignment with yourself and your life purpose. So I don't want you to think that this was for nothing. I don't want you to think like, oh, I wasted my time. I'll never get this back. Like this helped you to find a part of yourself that maybe you didn't know. It forced you to get to know that person or get to know what it is that you want outside from this. All right. Spirit is showing you that whatever you're walking away from, it's helping you in more ways than you know right now, all right? But with the death card, this came under the fool card. You're definitely closing out some sort of chapter. There's some sort of rebirth happening here. Like, I feel like a shedding of a skin for sure. You've accepted the fact that you had to walk away from something, even if you're leaving someone heartbroken, or even if someone's just bothered by the fact that, you know, something's not working out. Seven of Swords Reverse. You guys could also be seeing this happen with someone else. Maybe you see them in something that's not working out for them and they're upset about that. Okay. It was the right thing to let something go, guys. We have the Nine of Wands reversed under the higher font. So that's you, like, literally just, just dropping your burden, releasing your burden. Closing out this chapter. Ten of Pentacles reversed. And this is something I feel like you've lost a lot in, okay? Maybe this was an unstable family dynamic, all right? But there was just too many issues.
the world card reversed, the chariot reversed, seven of cups reversed. Guys, this was inevitable. Like, what you saw, it was inevitable. All right. So we have the temperance card. All right, nine of pentacles reversed. You guys are coming into union with something or someone that it just feels so good. It feels so right. And on a spiritual level, you just know that this is the change that you needed. So that's why you guys are coming out of something that was karmic. You guys are getting out of something that you were supposed to stay in to learn a lesson. Or to be in to learn a lesson, but you weren't supposed to stay. Okay. So guys, let's, let's get our tea cards out, okay? And if this is resonating with you guys so far, there are links below to donate as well as my website if you guys want your own personal reading. All right, thank you in advance if you choose to get either or do either. All right, guys, so what is the T? Cancer, what is the T here? Curious about you. Dodging bullets. Carlos, someone's curious about you, but that's not enough, all right? Um, or this could be, you know, an environment that still wants you around, but again, it's not enough. Like this person or this thing, it just doesn't do it for you anymore. Okay, for some of you, honestly, you could be avoiding like a bomb sort of energy. All right, someone that can't do for you in that way. We have reflecting and we have drama starting, starter rather. You're looking back at all the bullshit that this caused you, everything that you went through, and you're tired, you're exhausted, you don't want to keep going through this. Okay, we have grudge holder. Caught a case. And someone can be really like holding a grudge against you that you don't want to keep fighting this fight. Okay. You just want to level up. All right. You just want to level up. And someone hates that. We have always partying, so whoever or whatever it was, it just, you know, somebody just wasn't taking life seriously. Bad habits, so always partying and bad habits together. All right, someone that keeps going towards things they shouldn't be going towards, things that are not helping them to be in alignment with themselves or with their bank accounts. Like, what is this? All right, broke ass is under Carlos. Maybe there's just someone that you don't want to care of any, take care of anymore. All right. Maybe there's a job or opportunity that just wasn't paying you enough. Something looked much better on the outside than what it truly was. Okay. We have unbothered and running. And it's like you can't get away from this fast enough. You can't get away from this fast enough. Okay. Okay. We have boss daddy. So this is, you know, someone like you guys are dealing with an energy that was cocky, that felt like, you know, it could really be in charge. All right. Someone could be chasing you. All right. Maybe you guys are dealing with someone specifically that has a bad reputation when it comes to family. All right. This could be family, someone that felt like family. Okay. But. There's just someone here that is getting a bad reputation. Like, they're just, they're not doing what they need to do. Someone's, you know, I feel like you're triggered by this. For some, this could be vice versa. Maybe someone feels like you're not doing enough. All right. But for a lot of you, I just feel like you're seeing the truth about someone. And with that bad, rep, bad uh, with that bad reputation, oh my God, maybe they have a reputation in bed also. But maybe with that bad, rep, like with this bad reputation, I feel like, again, other people are, seeing this okay you don't get a bad reputation just by one person thinking something bad of you you need multiple people to think bad and that's where the bad reputation comes in 
All right. So we have travel. Lonely. All right. This is someone that w is fake that would move around a lot. Like, I feel like we're dealing with an energy that instead of like dealing with a problem or taking accountability with the problem, they just run. All right. I saw this video um, on Instagram. Who was it? Um, oh, my God. What's his wife's name? That motivational speaker, Tony, Tony, Tony. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The guy that like goes around talking on stage about like how to make money and shit. I, I'm pretty sure it's his wife because they have the same last name. I think it's his wife. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But um, if I can, if I see her thing, I'll put it on. But she said something in a video, and I'm like, oh my god, like it, it just blew my mind. And it's like you know sometimes. Um, people avoid you because they know that they did something wrong to you. Okay? So you guys could be dealing with that. Okay? And now that you're like running full speed from the situation, somebody may want to kiss ass. Or maybe, uh, you know, somebody who was the runner before is the chaser now. All right? We have divination abuser. This is someone that used you for the light that you had, guys. All right, we have Shine. Again, um, you doing well It's irritating somebody. It's like, how dare you do well? Impersonator. Okay. Like, guys, you saw someone um, for the who they really were, and it's not who they came off that they were. Okay, or maybe they did come off as that, but um, someone really tried to make it seem like they were someone or, or maybe some sort of establishment tried to make itself look like it was a certain way, but it wasn't. And, and this wants you back, but like you can't trust it at all. It already has a bad reputation. It could be a company that you work for that shit, a person that you dated or someone that you were friends with that was shit, you know, someone in your family that you felt was shit. But there's still this attachment that this thing has to you because of what you could do for it. Because, you know, this energy knows that with you on the team, more shit gets done. Okay? So this is someone that hates on you when your gifts in life are not being used towards things that they are part of. Okay, it's like, hey, if you have a talent, I want to be able to benefit off of that talent. If you're using that talent for something that doesn't benefit me, I'm going to feel a certain way. Okay. And that's why you guys are blocking this energy. You know that, you know, somebody was using you for your light. Okay. And it's like they feel locked out and you're hitting the jackpot and that's really triggering them. They're going to try to make a desperate offer just to stay around and they're waiting on you to change your mind and come around, but they just have bad karma coming, all right? This is someone who treated you like shit before or may have bullied you or laughed at you before, and now they're confused as to, you know, why things aren't going well for them, why you're not being as receptive to them. You know, why am I going through all these nightmares? Why am I not genuinely happy, all right? But guys, marrying for money, thief, happiness hater, this is someone that was using you, all right? This is someone that you were giving a lot to and they were still talking shit, all right? So you rose above the bullshit that you didn't trust. There could have been love affairs here. They, this could have been someone that chose something over you, all right? Maybe a job that chose to promote someone over you, all right? So that's why you're gone, guys. You're out of here, okay? Someone's doing a lot of uh, a lot of rah 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 because they want to be heard. They want to be in the spotlight, but you're just fed up. You're not letting this block you anymore. Okay. Yeah. So we have photo proof. We have scarcity tactics. Like you have proof of how this person um, has tried to make you conform in certain ways and how obsessive they are. And you're just you're not wasting time with this anymore. You're just not. All right. You know it's the same shit, different day when it comes. That's why you're moving in silence. They have nothing to offer you. They know that, and they're haunted by that. That's why it's so easy for you not to be interested. So, guys, don't take this offer. It's a poisonous one, okay? They they just kind of want to stay on top over you, and they're not going to do that. You're the boss here, okay? 
Cancer, I love you guys so much. Again, if you would like your own personal reading, use my website below. You guys can use code HV20. It'll get you 20% off your first reading. If you guys are already a client, it'll work one time for you, okay? So for your next purchase, all right? And again, guys, if you want to donate, there's links below to do so. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care.